everyone, I'm Sadri and welcome to new Outlander Review. This week's episode was called Best Laid Schemes. Let's talk about it. First, some quick thoughts. Was anybody a little bit suspicious about Master Raymond when she went to see him and she was warning him that people might be coming for him and he was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna leave. Okay, really? Are you really gonna leave? Or is there something else going on? I don't know. That whole moment seemed a little suspicious to me. Also, I really enjoyed the moment where Claire is hanging out with Louise and her friends. And you see the disconnect between what Claire thinks and how she feels and how she views things from them. When she brings up the fact that there are a lot of poor people on the street, they immediately think that she's saying, yeah, we should like put them somewhere else so they don't bother us. Not really what I was going for. So I don't think we've really seen this disconnect this season. So it was a good reminder that Claire is not like everyone else. And sometimes it's just too hard for her to just pretend all the time. Moving on to Murta. They finally told Murta. And I, I think we sort of knew because they had shown it in the trailer for the new season. I didn't know at which point they were gonna tell him. So I'm glad that they're finally coming clean and they're like, all right, all right, we gotta tell him because he's been really great so far, just trusting us and doing whatever crazy things we come up with. I love that Murta is like, all right, if you think your wife's a witch, who am I to say she isn't? And then I'm like, well, technically she's not a witch. She's like a time traveler or something. So, you know, not the same thing. And also, of course, that led to a really beautiful moment between him and Claire. And I just love the relationship between these two because they've really created a, a bond during that time that they've been together. I mean, she had created a bond with all the other guys too, but I think it's it's really grown stronger with, with Murta now that he's with them all the time. And I love that he tried to put himself in her position. And he said, well, if that's really true, if you've lived through all of that and you know everything that's gonna happen, he said he wouldn't want to have that burden of knowing. So he understands that it's not easy, you know, for her to know. Moving on to Jamie and Claire. So of course the most beautiful part of this episode was Jamie explaining why he decided to let Blackjack live. And that's because he thinks that if they fail and if he ends up dying or something happens to him, he wants her to have some place to go back to. I'm like, oh, so good. Unfortunately, it didn't last very long because the moment he saw Blackjack, he's like, yep, never mind, I can't, I'm just gonna kill him. <laughs> it's like, what happened to someone to take care of Claire, Jamie? Seriously. Which leads me to Claire's line when she says, bad things tend to happen to us when we're apart. You jinxed it, Claire, you totally did because something bad happened again. I guess in principle, he was like, I think I can let go of Blackjack for a little bit. And then he was like, nope, 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 never mind. Can't do that. So... They fight, and as we learned last episode, that's illegal, so Jamie looks like he's gonna get arrested, not before he actually hurt Blackjack where it hurts the most, right? Maybe Blackjack can't have kids anymore. I mean, we don't really know exactly. That's not even the worst part because Claire has stressed out and exhausted herself so much that it looks like the baby might be in trouble. At least she's bleeding, she's just not feeling well. It's just not good, not good. And she has to be taken to the hospital. So it's like, they're gonna be even more apart. And we know bad things happen when they're apart, so. Well, I guess if she does lose the baby, it sort of confirms the theory of her losing the baby that I had because in, when she goes to the future at the beginning of the season, she doesn't seem to be worried about a child or anything that she left behind, so maybe she didn't have her child. But I guess we'll find out next week, so yeah. Really good episode. Worried again, it's back to those Outlander cliffhangers that I just hate so much but love at the same time, so. But anyway, those were all my thoughts. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the episode. Do you think that Blackjack is unable to have babies now? Do you think that Claire is gonna be okay? Do you think Jamie will go to prison? I mean, the king does love him, so who knows? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Outlander reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. So now I'm wondering if the reason why Claire is back in the present at the beginning of the season is because of the promise she made Jamie to go back to the stones and go back to Frank if something ever happened to him. So yeah, what happened to Jamie?